You know, not everyone can sing, uh, but almost anyone can whistle. As a matter of fact, uh, that's a good title for a song. Almost anyone can whistle. Joe, write that down. <laughs> but, but seriously, as Milton Bro would say if he were here, some people whistle better than others. My next guest is a, a former winner of the uh, National Whistle Off. Help. <laughs> held every year in Carson City, Nevada. Here from the contest book is Nelson Christensen. Welcome him, please. <laughs> Instead of applauding, the audience whistle for you. Now, hey, really, this is... Now, how many people competed in this contest? Well... The first annual was two years ago, and the second annual will be this year. Uh, they, they kind of blew it. The, uh, no, no puns. There's a lot of bad things that come out when you're talking about whistling. They blew it the second year. Anyway, it was in Carson City, Nevada, and uh, the Chamber of Commerce up there put it on, and they're putting it on again this year. And uh, about 60 people showed up. Now, the, the figures are a little inflated there because... Uh, <laughs> I keep walking into this. One of the whistlers that showed up was uh, Bill Paulus, whose wife Norma is the Secretary of State of Oregon, and they brought he brought down thirty crazy people to accompany him, including his well, can wife. Can you bring your own accompanist? Well, they had a special category for uh, a, a special accompaniment, and what these people. What did you people, use for accompaniment? Well, I brought a piano player, uh, David Pequet from the Pioneer Inn in uh, Maui, who I work with oh, sometimes. Hawaii. You live in Hawaii? I live on Maui in Lahaina, yeah. Oh, I'm, an, I'm, right. a, I'm a lawyer there. We can advertise now. And I'm a lawyer there. <laughs> <laughs> Nelson yeah. Christensen is a lawyer on Maui. Got a card here, got a card here someplace. Right? Everyone can whistle. I said that when I introduced you. Well, let's, Ernie, can we start with you? Let, can we hear your whistle? I used to have a big, big whistle one time, and then I... <laughs> And I kind of whistled myself out. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Robert? <laughs> <laughs> Give it a go. Give Come it on, a go. Robert. Come on. <laughs> but... Hey, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't listen. Now, wait. I don't know. No, I no, no, really. Come I can't. on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gotten help. He needs remedial whistling. I learned as a kid to whistle. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here, bring it down. It's a first. Okay, what are you going to whistle for us today, now? Well, we just, I picked out, out something with the band earlier. You can do just about anything, you know, you can do like... Uh, Not on this show, you can. Well, <laughs> just about anything. We, we draw the line somewhere, now. Sometimes, when you're just doing it as a part of your life, you can do, uh, you know, Marches, John Philip Sousa. You can... It's incredible. That is incredible. It's wonderful. If you're just gonna, that is just, amazing. If you're just going to whistle as a part of your everyday life, then sometimes you're going to be doing something else like working. And I smoke cigars sometimes, so you go... A, gr a grown man, <laughs> an attorney from yeah, Maui, too, right. <laughs> with two cigars in it. Paul Henry. <laughs> and so on. It doesn't work as yeah, well. Actually, what you have to be very careful where you practice these things, right? Yeah, right. I mean, you can't Not, do it in public. You never on nation Lock yourself in a room I can't somewhere. whistle and laugh at the same time. Is that a problem? If you start laughing, does it mess up your whistle? Oh, well, it doesn't me, but... People, you notice I don't pucker when I whistle. Yeah, see, that's the people problem. who uh, you can laugh and whistle, as he pointed out. See, now I, if I'm if I'm trying to whistle and somebody makes me laugh, I sh 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 <laughs> but can you laugh and whistle? Oh, I suppose so, but I don't. You know, I'm nothing funny at the moment. How could you surprise? Sure, I guess I can. All right, you're, you're, you're... by chewing crackers. No, no, and then no. peanut butter. Is the Whistler's Kryptonite. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whistler's Soda crackers. Soda Whistler, crackers. That's the lemon to it all, right? That's it. You cannot whistle with crackers in your mouth, and, and peanut butter lays you off for a matter of hours. <laughs> <laughs> so all you aspiring young whistlers out there, 
Yes. Cool it with the peanut butter. Stay away from now, you're going to do sugar blues for us, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, we worked this up with a band, and I hope we can put it together. It's uh, The blues things whistle really well, and uh, your band here is great blues oh, players. So super players. Maybe we can do something. All right. Uh, accompanied by Joe Massimino and the orchestra, here is Nelson Christensen. An attorney from Hollywood. 